right, so I got the Corvette done, this Mercedes done. This guy right here is next, this R8. Uh, great car, put some tires on it. As you can see, they're running right down the middle, the wear pattern. That's based on, that's because of that type of uh, wheel that it's got with that center in it. So here's how loud it is. So super growl, just because of the wheels, we'll get it. Take it downstairs, true them up, see what happens. All right, so. This Audi R8 has the same issues as that as the other vehicle where the uh, tires are wearing incorrectly because of the uh, these dimples that are in the wheel. I'm trying to see if I can make sure I can get in there. So there's one right there. So so I'm not sure why they make the, t the wheels like that, but once you put these aftermarket tires on them, uh, they sure make noise. Both the tires come off. So cars apart. Okay, so I'm gonna mount it to the to the platform. So this piece that I put on here and this bolt, uh, basically it's off of one of the boxes I didn't need. So I thought, hmm, that might work pretty well if I put that on there. So I cut it out and uh, made it so that the, the screw, just like on the box, can go anywhere it needs to go. But I angled it, I sanded it with some sandpaper as I was putting it together to change the angle of this piece. And then I glued it to the to the track using some good super glue, some gel type, gel control, I think it is. And then made sure that that cut out so that the bolt would fit. All right, so we'll go ahead and start machining. So as you can see, Here's the dimples. Don't really like them. Gonna get rid of them. So, come along pretty well. You can see those dimples are pretty much gone. A little bit. There's some more right there, so we'll do a little more. On to the other side. Hopefully, I got this thing positioned where you can see it okay. Let's see what happens here. So you can't smell it because I don't have smell o vision but you kind of know when when to let up on it a little bit because you'll you'll kind of smell the plastic All right, pretty good a little bit probably 
since I'm here, I'm just going to clean it up all the way, but I bet it would be just fine if I just did it now. Do it with the hair. Alright, that looks good. You kind of hear when you got it because it quits making a lot of noise. clean it up disconnect but for a little bit of time that it took to put this together um, this tool works pretty well I could probably do the tires you know use it to true up tires on cars as well if I want uh, I haven't tried that yet but my guess is it would work Anyway, a little close up, you can see those lines are gone, so the tires won't be bowed out. And uh, hopefully, it won't make as much noise either. And it does seem to give it better traction because you're getting the whole, uh, you know, the whole surface of the tire on the on the pavement rather than just the metal. Yeah, we're back together. So, let's go give it a try. All right, we're back up. Got my controller. Here's the car. Let's get it on the track, and we'll see what it does. See the difference in the sound. No more growling. So that worked out really well. And full surface of the tire, the contact's gonna track now it looks like. All right, that's it. No more growling. 